Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about multiple joins in, um, when it comes to MySQL. I am using MySQL Workbench to run these queries and set up my tables and create my database. Um, this is a very handy tool when you're dealing with MySQL. So a little bit about our schema here. On line one, we're basically dropping our database called dog tracker and then we're creating this database uh, dog underscore tracker so essentially if it exists we're gonna drop it and then we're gonna recreate it from scratch and then we're gonna use that database dog underscore tracker okay and there from then on we create three tables one called pack one called role and one called dogs and in our pack table, we have two columns. One is going to hold our ID, which is going to auto increment. And one is going to hold, another column is going to hold our name or the name of the pack. Okay. And then in our roles table, we're going to have an ID, a title, pack underscore ID. The primary key is going to point to our ID up here on line 13, so that's going to be our primary key. And on line 17, our foreign key, which we've created a column for right here, pack underscore ID, is going to reference our pack table, and it's going to reference specifically this ID. So we have a foreign key that points to our table of pack. Okay, so then down here we have our last table called dogs and in our dogs table we have an ID a first name a last name a column with called role underscore ID another column called pack underscore leader underscore ID and this primary key is going to point to this line 21 right so we have a primary key of ID then we have two foreign keys in this table one is going to have our role underscore ID and it's going to reference our role table, specifically the column of ID. And we also have this other foreign key, pack underscore leader underscore ID, which references this same table uh, of dogs.id. A little bit more about that um, in a second. So here, again, we have one foreign key that points to a completely different table. But we also have a foreign key that points to the same table that it's in. So that's a little bit different. Um, here, this is where we start to insert insert uh, pack names to our pack table. So I looked up popular dog pack names, or just pop dog pack names, and two that I found that were sounded pretty cool, which was Moonstone Pack and Nightwalker. So in our packs table we now have two rows of data, Moonstone Pack and Nightwalker as our values. And then in our role we have a we're going to insert the title and our pack ID. So in our title in role which is this table up here we're going to insert a seizure alert dog because that's the role of one of the roles that when we insert a dog can go into. It can either be a seizure alert, alert dog or a narcolepsy alert dog. I notice this value here, this one and two. We insert these values because that's what points to, gives it reference to what pack they belong to. So, for instance, this seizure alert dog, because we gave it this pack underscore ID of one, is going to point to our moonstone pack. So this seizure alert dog um, points to this moonstone pack. This narcolepsy alert dog points to our nightwalker pack. Okay. In this instance where we insert into dogs, this one we're inserting two rows into our dogs table. And we're going to insert the name. Our first name is going to be Dexter. Our last name is going to be Wexler. Role ID is 1. Pack leader ID is null. So what's this saying? Well, 
for one thing, our first dog that we're inputting into our dog's table, his first name is Dexter, his last name is Wexter. His roll ID is one. And remember, the first one, uh, the first data input, or the first row of data that we inputted in our roll table was a seizure alert dog. So Dexter Wexler is a seizure alert dog and he does not have a pack leader. That's why we give it an insert value of null. In our second uh, row of data, spot is the first name. Last name is tops. Roll ID is one, so Roll ID, again, he's a seizure alert dog then. And in this one, we do give it a pack leader ID, a pack leader ID of one. So basically what that means is that the pack leader or the leader who's going to lead the pack is going to point to our Dexter, is going to point to our Dexter dog because he is the first uh, row of data that we input it, so he's going to have that ID of 1. So again, this spot tops, the pack leader for spot tops is Dexter Wexler, and we know this because of his ID of 1. So now if we wanted to, let's try something real quick, let's say select star from dogs, and let's see what that pulls up for us. Hopefully it's successful. And you can see here we get both dogs, their last name, their role ID, and their pack leader ID. Great. So now what if we wanted to what if we wanted to get the role for each dog, right? So we want to get information from our roles tables, and we also want to get all of our dogs um, from our dogs table. So let's rewrite this to get a little bit more information. So in this case, we're going to want dogs.firstName, and then we're also going to want dogs.lastName. And you know what? I don't want that underscore there, so we're going to put as... Um, so we're going to put two single close first name, dogs as last name. Okay, so that way we'll get rid of this column name and instead we'll have just this. Basically getting rid of this underscore you see down here. Okay. So then what do we want? Well, we also want the, we want last name select, okay. So we want from dogs, okay. So we're selecting the first name, the last name is last name from our table dog. And what we want to do is do a left join. And we want to left join our roll table. So this is basically saying we want every dog and we want to join it with our roll table regardless if it has a null value or not. So we're going to put on. And how are we going to combine those together? Well, we're going to give it the condition of dogs dot Row, row underscore ID equals row dot ID. Okay, and we also want to select what we want from our row table in our select statement. So we want row, and what can we get from row? Well, we can get the title. So row dot title. Okay, and let's see if this works. Sweet. So we have Dexter Wexler with the title of Seizure Alert Dog. And we have Spot Tops, and he is also a Seizure Alert Dog. Again, 
this seizure alert dog is coming because we gave it the value of one here and the value of one here, pointing to our first row of data up here. Okay. And let's do, because we only have first name, last name, title, which is great, but now I also want um, the what did I call it? The pack that each dog belongs to. So let's specify that we also want something from this pack column or this pack table up here. So we want pack dot name and we're going to give it an alias to so pack name. Okay. And now we also want to do another left join. And what do we want to left join? Well, we want to left join pack. We are giving this error because we had a semicolon up here. Okay. Left join pack. And how do we want to combine uh, our dogs table with pack? With our pack table, we want to base it on on, let's see, roll pack ID, if it's equal to our pack ID, okay. So if those two are the same, uh, I want all the results back. So on roll dot pack underscore ID, is equal to pack dot id. Okay, so basically, it this is saying is this number is equal to our id number. Then I want to see those results. And let's run it now and let's see what we get. We should be getting the pack name now. Cool. So we have these two dogs belong to Moonstone Pack. And let's see if we're right. So because, let's see, we gave it the roll ID of one. And the roll ID of one points to the seizure alert dog. And the seizure alert dog with our pack ID, we gave it the value of one. And one points to Moonstone pack. So because these are both seizure alert dogs, it's pointing to this Moonstone pack column up here, or this Moonstone pack name. Perfect. So that's two. Those, that is how you combine a multiple join. But let's say we wanted to join three tables now. And this third table comes from something that uh, I think confuses a lot of people, which is, remember our dogs table here, where we gave it the foreign key pack underscore leader underscore ID references this same table. Well, basically what this is saying is, if I pass in data, for instance, here, um, again, because we put, gave it a one here, it's going to, it's going to reference Dextra up here. So in essence, the leader first spot is Dextra up here because this is the pack leader ID it's referencing. It's referencing the same table um, as dogs. So now what I want to do in our third left join is I want to see the leader for for either Dexter or Spot. So I want a one, two, three. I want a fifth column over here, and that fifth column needs to give me the name of the leader for this dog, for these two dogs. So basically, Dexter should have a null value here because if you look up here when we inserted Dexter he does not have a pack leader ID more than likely because he is the pack leader 
and for 41 we should get the name of Dexter because here it references again Dexter so let's start doing that let's get rid of that semicolon and let's do a another left join and we're going to do left join dogs and notice that right we already specified dogs up here so one of the things to note is that when you're referencing that same table for a foreign key you must give it an alias so instead of just saying left join dogs again because we already did it up here we're going to give it an alias dogs and we're going to go we're going to give it an alias as leader so again we're still referencing dogs but now we gave it an alias of the table name leader okay so and how do we want to join these two to, together so basically what i'm asking is what's our on statement that we need to write well we need to see if on leader dot id is equal to dogs dot pack underscore leader underscore id so if these two things are the same then I want to see the results and because this is left join um, I want to see even null values too so let's run this oh I don't think I selected a statement here so let's do so again because we gave it the the alias of leader up here we need to select a statement up here of, of leader so we're going to put leader dot first first name and we're going to give this an alias too as leader leader's name and hopefully that works let's see beautiful so we have this leader again that's what we wanted we wanted this we wanted spot to have the leader's name and in this case our leader's name is Dexter and Dexter does not have a um, pack I a pack leader ID because he is the pack leader so a few things to reference here again I think one of the main things that was confusing is these two foreign keys. One, because this foreign key points to the same table instead of a completely different table. Um, note that when you do that, you have to give it an alias for it to work. And also that order matters. So, for instance, our role ID is available down here because we joined the table up here. I know that's kind of confusing to understand, but with practice, um, I think you'll be able to understand why. From what I gather is that basically, like I said, order matters. Um, behind the scenes, when you left join this dogs table and this roles table, you get referenced or you get access to this anything on that role table. So when you left join another table, um, you get to also get that ID of the table we first left joined and then you know continue on with however you want to use your on statement so that in a nutshell is how you would combine multiple left joins in order in this case we've combined essentially three different tables to get the our dog's first name last name uh, the title of the we should say actual role of the dog the pack name that each dog belongs to and the leaders the leader for each for each dog so that's it happy coding guys